With Battlefield 2042, DICE introduced something great in Portal. However, as we know, many things didn't turn out to be too good with Battlefield 2042, and Portal was no different. A great feature that unfortunately hasn't lived up to the expectations, or to what many people wanted it to be. So I thought I'd take a look and talk about what went wrong and how I think DICE should have utilised it. Portal was supposed to be a tool to allow players to play in any way they wanted to. To have unique experiences and moments curated by other members of the community or DICE themselves. They even introduced an extensive customization system which allowed players to have a lot of freedom when it came to changing settings and the way games would be played. The best thing to compare it to would be what Fortnite have done with the Creative 2.0 to a certain extent. The portal mode brought back old maps and old weapons from previous Battlefield games with upgraded graphics, somewhat of a remaster you could say. Me and many other people were extremely excited for this. It seemed like the opportunities that Portal offered would be endless and you would receive a steady source of content. Perhaps more old school Battlefield maps added with new seasons and more weapons. However, that didn't turn out to be the case. When Battlefield 2042 launched, it was doomed from the start. An absolute buggy mess and a launch the players and DICE themselves should never forget. So right from the start, Portal was doomed too. When the base game is fundamentally broken and not enjoyable, Portal wasn't going to be any different. So for me, this was the first major flaw with Portal. The second big factor were the servers people were hosting in Portal which allowed people to farm a ton of XP, meaning players were unlocking weapons extremely fast. Now at the time I honestly couldn't believe that DICE didn't predict something like this could happen. So as this happened, DICE stopped all the XP on all Portal servers. Now for people that didn't take advantage of farming XP, they would have to do it the old fashioned way, the way it was intended to be. However, when you're trying to unlock new weapons and attachments at the start of the game, why would you play in servers that stopped you from gaining that XP and unlocking the new stuff? The only servers which allowed full XP were the official DICE ones, and that's still the case today. Nearly after two years from release, we have still not received any new portal maps. We've had some new weapons. Now, I can understand why we received no maps or decent content for portal in the first year or so, as DICE were trying to fix the mess Battlefield 2042 was, and that was their main, their main priority. However, I think the game has been in a decent state since the start of the year, so why not focus a little bit on adding some more maps to Portal? Personally, I think this is what the game is going to receive after Season 5. I think DICE will add more Portal maps and guns and carry on making quality of life changes to the game. Portal is honestly a fantastic idea. You, build a whole, you can build a whole game around it and the opportunities with it are endless. It gives players freedom to play in whatever way they want and makes for some unique experiences. However, the mode was sort of abandoned by DICE due to the failure of Battlefield 2042 and didn't receive the support it deserved. I, for one, think Portal should be implemented into the next Battlefield game. It's just got to be done right with continued support and maybe making the creation of these servers a little bit easier. Like I said, it's a fantastic tool that DICE have created. But without support and content, it's not going to hold up. So let me know if you would like to see Portal in the next Battlefield game, or should it be left in 2042. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.